Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the last video, we fixed some issues that we had with our Blogger template. Now in this video, we will add all the necessary pages for our Blogger template and we'll also update the links of our navigation menus. So let's get started. First of all, let's create these two pages, About and Privacy Policy. And I'll show you the contact page afterwards. So for that, let's go to the blogger dashboard and let's go to pages. And uh, here we can create pages by clicking on this button called new page. So let's click on new page and we'll give it a title of about us. And let's add some text over here. All right, I have added this data to our page. Now we'll also disable the comments from the pages. So let's click on options and for reader comments, we'll set it to do not allow and hide existing. So now let's click on publish. And the about us page is created. Let's also create a privacy policy page. Right, I have added the privacy policy page as well. Now let's create the contact us page. So let's click on new page and we'll type contact us. And for the contact us page, we want to have the contact form displayed over here. So for that, we have to go to the home page where we have the contact us form. So this is the contact us widget that we had used. Now to add this uh, widget to our page, we have to copy the HTML from this. So you have to right click over here and click on view page source. And you have to copy the HTML of the contact form from here. So here we can see this is the contact form. So let's copy everything from uh, this contact container division to the end over here and uh, let's copy this and let's go to the page edit of contact us and here you have to go to the HTML view so click on this icon and click on HTML view and paste the HTML right here so this is the HTML of the contact us form now we already have the title over here so we have to remove this h2 from here alright that's it with the contact form now let's click on options and click on do not allow comments and click on publish and even the contact page has been created. Now let's view these pages and see how it looks. So let's open the about us page. And we can see that it looks all right. But uh, we have this uh, division for the date displayed over here. Now for the static pages, we don't have dates displayed in a blogger template. So we also have to remove this division from here. So for that, we will add an if condition. So let's go to our template code and let's go to the code where we display the date so if we right click and uh, click on inspect we can see that it is inside a division with the class of post footer so for this division we have to add an if condition now here we can see the division with the class of post footer so let's fold this and uh, let's add an if condition over here so for the if condition we'll type b colon if and uh, we'll type c o n d equals data colon blog dot page type and we'll see whether the page type is not equal to a static page now let's end the if condition over here and let's save this and uh, see whether the division is still being displayed so let's refresh our page and the page is not being displayed i think something's wrong with our uh, code so here we need to have a space and I think now it will work. All right, now we can see that the page is being displayed and uh, we don't have the division of the date anymore. And everything is working all right. Let's open the other page. And it's also looking all right. Now let's open the contact us page. Now it's looking all right, but uh, we can reduce the margin between uh, the title and uh, the contact form so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, the division has a class of contact container but if you go to the body we can see we have a class of item view so whenever we have this contact container division inside the item view we will change the margin top and the other place where the contact form is situated is in the home page so for that we have the body class of home page so let's go to the CSS and add this selector. 
so here we can see the styles for the contact container now here we will add body dot item view contact container and uh, here we have a margin top of 100 so for this we will give a margin top of 50 pixels and uh, let's save it and let's refresh the page and now we have the correct margin for the contact form so even the contact form is fixed now the last thing we'll do in this video is to update the links of these nav menu items so let's go back to the theme code and uh, let's go to the header now we'll start from here this is the logo image and the logo image is inside an anchor tag so whenever you click on the logo we should be taken to the home page of our website so here we can directly type the URL of our website so if we just delete this this is the URL of our website we can just copy and paste and instead of the hash we can just copy and paste the URL of our home page and it will work alright so let's save this and let's go back and now let's click on the logo and we get taken to the home page but we have another way to do this so for that we have to use an expression so here we'll type expr colon href and in this we can type any blogger specific code so here we will type data colon blog dot home page url now this will give us the same result so let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page and now let's click on this logo and we get taken to the home page of our website so this can be a little more dynamic because uh, even if you later change the domain name of your website this code will still work so now let's go ahead and copy this expression from here and we'll paste it over here in the first li and for the first li we have the home page so it'll be as it is now for the second li we have to give the link of the about page so first of all we'll copy the link of the home page and we'll add the link of the about page after this so let's go to the pages and uh, let's see what is the link of the about us page so here we can see we have the home page link and after that we have p forward slash about us dot html so let's copy this and uh, let's add it over here so here you can type plus and in double quotes we can paste this uh, remaining link and let's save this and let's go to the home page and let's click on the about page and see whether we get to the about us page and now we can see that the about us page is being displayed over here and the home page is also working so in the same way we will add the link of the contact and the privacy policy pages as well so let's view it and uh, let's copy this and we'll paste it over here and we'll also copy this expression and we'll do the same with the privacy policy page let's check out the URL of the privacy policy page so let's copy this and paste it over here alright that should do the job for us now we have the same links over here for the mobile version as well so let's copy these four allies from here and uh, we'll paste them over here and then we have the same in the footer as well so let's go to the footer and uh, here you can just copy and paste the same allies and then lastly you can add the link of your social media account over here for Facebook Instagram and Twitter so instead of this hash you can add your links over here and let's save this and let's test it one last time so we'll click on this logo and we go to the home page this is the home page this is the about us page this is the contact page this is the privacy policy page and uh, let's check the footer out home page about contact and privacy policy 
All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will uh, see how to style the comments in our blogger post. We are not going to style the actual comment form, but we'll style all the comments that will be displayed on our post. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.